Well, if you're a tech geek, shopping for a new cell phone is like being a kid on Christmas morning. But for most Canadians, it's downright confusing with hundreds of options, not to mention the actual phone. Consumers are overloaded. And now with Global Live entering Canada's wireless market, brace yourself for more. And then there are the hidden fees, the fine print, the plans that companies don't tell you about. So to help navigate Canada's mobile maze, we've invited two people who've made themselves experts. Jamie Chadwick is managing director of Save Cell Communications and Howard Chewy is founder of HowardForums.com. Welcome both you guys. Thanks How for coming you? in. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So, are people like me, I kind of break out in a rash whenever I go into a, you know, a wireless shop, just confused. Yeah. Can't stand it. You know what, you're not alone in that. I think there's a number of people out there who, when shopping for a cell phone, don't necessarily know how to find the best plan based on what they're using. And I think that creates a big problem because these people get bills at the end of the month and their bill tends to be much higher than they previously anticipated and therefore they're quite upset. And so what are the worst complaints, the biggest complaints you're hearing, Howard? Uh, people who use their phone to get on the internet, sometimes they don't realize that they're billed a lot for the internet and so some people have bills that are like four figures. Four figures. Yeah, I think someone had. I think someone had a five-figure bill. And and how many plans are out there right now? When you put it all together, thousands and thousands of plans. And with those plans, there's a number of different options and features you can add to the plan. So I mean, there's not just one plan. It's with the plan. What's available with that plan? Literally thousands and thousands. Yes. Absolutely. And and so I mean, how can the people at the companies even know <laughs> what 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 they're gonna you know well, they, what they're talking about? They don't. Thousands. A lot of them don't. Yeah, you no, know, I think Howard touched on that. The, you know, I think a big problem Canadian consumers have with the providers is a number of these people, you know, who work for the companies, they don't necessarily know all the plans that are offered. And, you know, when you ask them about certain options and features that are available, they're, you know, they tend to be sort of unaware of exactly what's offered and what is available on their behalf. And that creates a lot of confusion for the Canadian consumers. And so, uh, how, do you, how do you go about getting the best deal? Actually, well, the best deal is probably... If you need something right now, the best deal is probably from the carrier you're currently with because the cost to um, get a new consumer or new customer is much higher than them just giving you a slightly better deal than the one you have now. So you can wave a stick at them and say, hey, I'm going to move to Buddy next door? Well, yeah, you could. Like, if you're unhappy with it and you're ready to move, they'll, they have retention departments whose job it is to keep you happy. So they'll give you plans that are sometimes like 30, 40 percent cheaper than what you would get if you just went to their website. So what do you say? Like, say you've got a plan with X company, whatever company. What do you say to them? Well, you could say I've been a customer for X number of years. And, you know, I'm, I see that your competitor has this plan. You know, I want you to match it and make it worth my while to stay. Yeah, Jamie. Uh, and, and personally, I find the biggest thing is for people to really understand what types of usage they encourage each month. I mean, a number of us enter into a contract, you know, based on certain criteria, and we don't really understand what's offered in that contract. So I think it's most important for people to really understand the types of usage they're using. Are they using a lot of text messages? Are they using a lot of long distance? Uh, roaming charges, you know, the types of minutes they use. Are they daytime or evening yeah. and weekend, incoming versus outgoing? And I think it's important for people to realize that. And once they're able to really determine that, they can therefore find a plan that closely matches their needs and therefore pay as little as possible for the services they're using. And you've got soft where you're, you're kind of like a personal shopper for people <laughs> if they want a plan, right? You've got software that will determine that. Absolutely. We compare what, you know, for individuals, families, and businesses, we compare what they use each month with every single plan available in Canada and every variation of every plan. And in turn, that turns around and tells us what the cheapest alternative is based on what they're using each month. And how much would you charge to do that? Uh, we either take 100% of the savings for three months or 60% of the savings for six months. But we're 100% contingency based and we're only paid based on a percentage of savings where able to save our clients. Right. And so you've got HowardForums.com, which we've got up there on the screen right now. Tell us about that. Why did you start that? Well, back, back in the day when uh, phones weren't as popular, I had a website where I talk about phones. People would have questions. They'd email me the same questions over and over again. So <laughs> I thought it would benefit everyone if they could just ask it in one place and the question could be answered for all to see. And so how many people are s visiting your website? Uh, we have, I think, eight or 900,000 members. Here in Canada? Yeah. Well, no, it's North America. It's North America. Yeah. It's North America. So, uh, you know, what about the fact that the companies, uh, a lot of people have found, won't 
tell you what they have available. Like they, you know, you have to know what they have available in order to get it. They don't offer that information to you. Absolutely, and you know, sorry, I think that's you know one of the biggest problems Canadian consumers have with the providers is they have all these different options and all these plans available, but they're not made aware of it. And whether that's because the providers don't want you to know because it's lost revenue for them, or because people just don't, you know, they're just not able to do enough research and they don't have the time to really find out what options are available for them. And I think, you know, that's a big reason why Canadian consumers in general are unsatisfied with the cellular marketplace. And so the phone companies must, must hate you guys. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, yeah, you can go to my site and people post what plans they get. And so you can see, like, the plans that they're getting. Like, for example, Fido's got this new plan that's 1750 So some people on the forum, they got that plan, plus they got extras, like an extra 2,500 text messages. And the, actually, the part where people post what they have, there's thousands and thousands of examples. I think the Rogers one literally has almost 5,000 yeah. posts. So, I mean, you can see, you can, it give, lets you prepare yourself what sh can I ask for what can I expect before you call in and so which company do customers dislike the most oh, I think they dislike everyone dislikes <laughs> the company there equally I mean there's so many gripes about Bell for years but is it is Bell basically in the same boat as the others you know what I don't think it's necessarily a particular to provider I think it's the industry in general and I think that you know, it's not one, you know, people hate one provider over another or unsatisfied with one provider. I think in general, it's they're unsatisfied with the industry as a whole. So why is the industry doing this? Why does the industry have thousands of plans? Are they doing it on purpose? Uh, I think, you know, they use confusion as a marketing tool to try and confuse the clients and the customers to so necessarily, you know, they may not be finding the best phone plan based on what they use. And the problem is a lot of people, when looking for a cell phone plan, they see a plan out there and they accept it thinking that that's the only plan out there that's suitable for them without right. realizing that there's a number of plans that aren't advertised. And, and just before we go, do either of you guys own shares in the major wireless companies? I wish I did. Yeah? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, long term, I mean, prices are going to come down. Are they? Absolutely. I think uh, with the increased competition, you're going to see prices drop uh, quite a bit. And I think you're going to see did a lot more competition too? out there. All right, we have to leave it there. Pleasure having you both with us. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very much. That's Jamie Chadwick and Howard Chewy. And that is it for Headline, but stay tuned for the Friday edition of Market Call tonight. Jennifer Stevenson, Executive VP at Quest Investment Management, will join us to take your questions on Canadian oil and gas. Get a head start. Send us your questions right away, and you can catch Headline every night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Repeat it at 11 p.m. Eastern. I'm Howard Green. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and see you back here on Market Call tonight in a few minutes.